Juni Hiltunen. Chris, are Scientology orgs able to do budgeting or financial planning? Yeah, every week. Um, churches, every Church of Scientology has its executives meet every week, and they do what's called financial planning. They have a meeting, and it's called financial planning, or FP. And they decide, based on the week's income, um, where that week is going to go, where the, or sorry, where the money is going to go from that week. Um, there are certain percentages that are sent up to management. Um, those are called payments to flag or you know, payment management payments. And those percentages come right off the top and they get sent up. And there's a person in the church, uh, the flag banking officer, who's usually a Sea Org member. And his job is to take that money and shuttle it up, right? Um, and of course, if they have to pay their rent, and they, you know, and all the money they've made is, is all they've got to pay the rent, then of course all of it goes to the rent. But management gets really pissed when they don't get their percentages. So generally those percentages come off, and then the org has to figure out how they're going to make up the money. And it, it becomes this, you know, total rat race sort of horrible, horrible thing when they're not making enough money. When they do make enough money, pay the rent, pay the bills, then they figure out, you know, the money, management payments have gone up, then they have the rest, and that goes to the staff pay, um, and also to um, expenses, you know, like paper and, and stuff for the classrooms, and uh, let's, you know, uh, build a new addition to the building or whatever, you know, all the stuff that is going to get done or money gets set aside if they need to, um, they have some big project they want to do, like a renovations project or something, then the money gets set aside. In a, in a savings account for that project, right? Um, now, with the whole ideal org thing going on, they're doing this massive amount of fundraising to buy new buildings and renovate those buildings. That money is a whole different thing. That money is not allocated in the weekly financial planning. That's a, that's a different set of money. So when I'm talking about doing renovations on a building or something, I'm not, that money is, is separately fundraised and is never part of this weekly allocation that, that the org does its financial planning around, okay? So, um, so I, you know, let's not confuse those two things. Um, generally speaking, with the amount of income that a Church of Scientology makes and the percentages that come off and that sort of thing, they're barely able to squeak by with paying their bills, paying the staff a, you know, a tiny little amount of money, and uh, paying their percentages, right? And as I've said before, the money goes up, it never comes back down, right? Very, very rarely will money come back down the line to the local churches in order to help them with some situation or problem or, you know, uh, something like that. And if it does have to come down, then there's hell to pay, and there's going to be um, a lot of consequences to that. So, uh, in other words, the executives of that organization are going to get in a lot of trouble and they're going to be subject to maybe being removed from their, their post, or um, they're going to be doing you know, justice actions and whatnot internally in Scientology because they caused management to have to bail them out and pay money down the line to handle what they're supposed to be handling. Right? It's very, very iron fist when it comes to money in Scientology. They don't screw around at all when it comes to uh, the money. So that's that.